Welcome back everyone to Hearts of Iron 4, we were reading the Project Valachord mod the plays of the Galactic Empire, I'm your host, Mr. Star Wars Lover, but we got some comments to go through, but we're going to continue on with Project Umbra Legion, which has a generic description, unlike decisions to begin the development of robotic soldiers known as Dark Troopers, because why not, as we are still going to continue lowering uh, everyone's autonomy, because they don't need autonomy, at least from, you know, where we're standing. Uh, what's we need around here? What did this guy write? Yeah, Thrawn. Oh, God. Yes. Oh. Moff Panaka assassinated. A fabulous success. Oh, look at that. Naboo government collapse. News coming from the has shocked all on Coruscant. As reports of a governmental takeover by the Queen of Naboo screamed, or streamed in throughout the course of the day. Imperial High Command is furious, and there's no reports from either the Imperial Security Bureau or intelligence, Imperial Intelligence then indicated other treason from the Queen. Traitors, this means war. Now where's Naboo? Naboo's down here. And they want to piece us off. We'll use you guys to help invade. Um, let's get you over here. Hey, at least we start going to war pretty much at the beginning of this episode. Which is kind of nice. Oh, God. Gotta move the guys over. Gotta do a little bit of this. Gotta do a little bit of that. From here down to there. Oopsie, god dang it. Well, that should be good enough. Traders mean this war. And let's grab our shippies. And you guys can come over here. And they'll make it in time. Oh, I gotta have Thrawn. I have to have Thrawn. And we'll war them. Fighter tanks sound really fun. Let's grab some of those too. And then we'll go with Project Siege Breaker. Because Onager Star Destroyers are very nice. We've been embargoed, huh? By Kota's Militia. No, Kota, is it? I remember from. Was it? Was that, is that the same guy from Star Wars Force Unleashed? Sounds like it. It might be. Look at that. Nice. Oh, look at that. Oh, we actually have search stores out here. Look at that. That's actually really cool. It's actually really awesome. In the meantime, the tanks. Small arms. Heavy. Uh, it's going to prove small cannon. I'm not worried about that stuff. Real, really. Wet ammo storage. Maybe a little more reliability. Um, defense breakthrough sloped armor. Really drastically increases the price. Small cannon hurts your reliability by quite a bit. What the heck? Let's throw that on there. Anything else we really want? Sure. There you go. Yeah. Good enough. Some more divisions? Sure. And then we'll go with uh, design, designate a production yard. Someone says, oh, one of the cops from last time says, nothing can stop the Empire. And you're darn right. No one really can. Hopefully. Probably. I'll go that one. Someone says, and you know, can you play the Tsar and Soviets? Yeah. Eventually. Yes. Ah, so for many years now, commanders. <clears throat> also, we do incursion for Kerma. Uh, Saw Guerrera and his partisans have been a thorn in our side for far too long. But suddenly we infiltrate his cell and neutralize him and his followers on Jeddah before they can have the chance to do more damage. For many years, commanders within the Imperial Navy have requested that an official shipbuilding production would be designated so as to consolidate Imperial shipbuilding efforts. After much debate and deliberation, Imperial analysis have narrowed this candidates to three planets. Kuat, located within the Core Worlds, is home to the Kuat Drive Yards, the primary manufacturer of Imperial capital ships, in addition to this. The people of Kua are known to be intensely loyal to the Imperial cause due to their status as a rich core world. Some have noted that investing in Kua can lead to an over on the planet, however. Karelia, also located in the core, is home of the Karelian engineering, however. Imperial intelligence indicates that rebel activity has been unusually high for a core world. In addition to this, the planet is home to the treasonous Senator Garm Abel Iblis, who is still at large, investing there could prove problematic in the long term in the final candidate, Rothana. But they're not a rim planet, home to the Rothana heavy engineering. The planet's distance from Coruscant proves to be both a benefit and a drawback, 
at this distance from other planets. Makes it harder to evade, however. Also means that the Imperial Navy and Army resources will likely have more strained supply as a result. Construction speed in the state. Repair speed. Honestly, I like the 12, but we're going to go with Kuwait because that, that makes the most sense. That just, literally just makes the most sense. Well, we'll see what we can do. And we are struggling. Uh, fuel refining, which is fine. More plain stuff, which is good. You too, I want you to invade up here too. Go and hold real quick. We'll redo this. Yeah, we need to definitely have more soldiers here. Do we have any uh, planes here? Earlier today, a strike team was sent to the GUP, the headquarters of the radicalist, a rebel cell known as the Partisans. In order to assassinate their leader, Saul Guerrero. The strike team was successful in engaging the cell. However, Guerrero and a number of other priority targets appear to have fled the scene. The current location of Guer Guerrero and the remainder of the Partisans is unknown. However, their presence on the planet of Jet has been thoroughly eliminated. Unfortunate. How long do they remembered? Oh. Well, looks like we'll be, to be over here too. Not bad. Uh, I'm meant to be losing that assault. 3,000, my god. Come on, kill airframes. Right there. Oh, what is this? Oh, that's just another unit you know, we don't need. Are you actually cavalry? Why do you... I could put you to armor. Motorized light tanks. Well, right now we're making medium tanks. We don't really need light tanks. We need mediums. Yeah. There you go. Mining incident on Jeddah. <clears throat> Imperial correspondence and Jeddah systems report that the system has been subject to a catastrophic mining incident, resulting in a large section of the planet to be destroyed. While some skeptics believe that the disaster was instead caused by some sort of never before seen Imperial superweapon, however, both Imperial and mining guild officials state that such ideas are basis in nature. Simply lies distributed by the rebels in order to capitalize on a tragic disaster. Weapon is operational indeed. Nice. Imperial industrialization efforts. Nice. Well, that's that's how much safe. Just in case. I was with a cup of coffee or two. We have no room for these guys. Okay, good enough. Got some tanks. Nice, not bad. And we were to force the attack. Could we do it? Why is there no one going over here? Oh, you have to go over here too? Okay. All trained defense turrets. More arty. Industrialization. Um, oh, we have those options to do. But we're going to go with uh, Sly Moore. Ars Dangor. Sly Moore. Okay, we can't. We literally cannot invade. Holy crap! These guys are really just dug in. My God. You know what? I'll make sure that we can invade. Give me a little bit of time, and we'll be fine overall. And then track the transfer of funds. Um, yeah, pretty much. Might as well. And then we'll do empower the Bureau of Ships. 
Ending Thieves Defiance, The Night Swan Conspiracy, Night on Baton, React by Lola Salyu. I gotta go from there, not a manifesto, but some decisions. We're gonna do all this stuff. We could hire some people. Develop Wayland, uh, develop Lothal. Investigation in Ferrix. Recover evidence, interrogate locals, file reports, interview Priox Merlana officers, prototype power armor, design pilot training systems. Utilize Kyber Crystals as a power source, build a prototype super weapon, design a new power system. Of course, foreign influence as well. And now we have the Night Swan Conspiracy, Embargo, Baton, Insurgency. They lose a lot of stability, but get a lot of war support. But we're ready to invade the partisans. Now we've actually I made these guys a little thicker. We did eventually invade Naboo. Thank God. But now we're going to go out and kill literally every single division. Casualties now 13,000 versus 200,000 because they kept attacking us again and again and again and again, which is I'm totally okay with. But Naboo has got to die. Also, we raised the conscription level because we were running out of manpower, literally running out. And they're gone. Thank you, Naboo. Thank you very much. So these guys did okay. We have our ships down here. They still need to repair, apparently. Um, yeah, that's fine. Mine oh, we still have mining incident. Like that one. Good. And... Proof anti-air. You know what? Just keep getting more artillery. That's fine. I want more tanks. Tanks would be nice. And we're definitely going to need more arty. Anything here? Heavy ship pull. I mean, honestly, it doesn't even really matter. But we're going to continue with first generation troopers. Designing robotic troopers. And then utilize Capra Crystals as a power source? Sure. Why not? You guys are up here. We need to invade these guys next. Should be able to invade. Hopefully we can do as well as we did earlier, but you never know. Partisans. No one's there. All right. Orin Seas. Far in the western reaches of the galaxy, strange reports regarding the status of the small planet of Orin have made to the desks of Coruscant. Reports assert that the partisan activities have produced a sudden and bloody coup that has left the area void of Imperial patrols, essentially leaving the planet to the radicals. Due to the fact that Orin is considered functionally useless by the ISB as well as part of the current situation at Ham, it has demanded that the lion's share of Imperial politicians let the situation be let go until further notice. Orin will see itself under our hand one day. Thank you, partisans. All right then. Ooh, we have nothing there. That's not good. One, two. There we go. And showdown on Baton. Ah, you're already there. Beautiful. Hopefully we'll do okay overall. Maybe. And we are where? Oh crap, I always lose my place. Here we are. But we got repair. Corvala? Oh my god. Yeah, no, it's not good enough to repair there. Yeah, that's better. I'll take more time to get there, but I can repair way faster. Alright, design an AI. Robot develop a robotic chassis. New power source, perhaps? Yeah. Advanced engines, good. Uh, that's a little ahead of time. We made the better tanks this time off screen instead. Showdown, very nice. And we'll do suspend cunt. Contemplates Harami. This is Corps on Corellia. Forces all occupied planets to be subject to a military governorship. Yeah, I'll do that one instead. Gladiator class, nice. Real lap. Takes him so long to repair, my goodness. Uh, 
pretty decent. Disperse, nice. Missing light. Oh, light tanks. We did this one earlier. repairing, huh? Feed. Takes forever for them to repair. There you go. Selective martial law. Introduce droid soldiers. Nice. So, prototype uh, super weapon. Design a new power system. Always false to the way. Nope. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, we landed. That's always helpful. Hey, look, even an encirclement. Nice. Ah. An insurgency no more. Oh, with a new Maw Powering Ring. Thrawn's victory on Baton. The Baton system, which has been an open defiance of the Empire for only several rotations, has seen its spark of rebellion snuff out. Our initial attempts to pass by the world failed. Commodore Thrawn and his task force managed what previous officers had failed to do. With brilliant maneuvers and coordination, he was able to scatter Baton's defense fleet and eliminate any planetside opposition. With the rebel leader Knight Swan presumed dead, the resistance on the world is no doubt finished. A glorious victory. Became a Grand Admiral then, huh? Very cool. Do all that stuff. 100% hang out with Palpy. I like to do that. Let's see. Prepare chests for mass production. Design and test supplemental rocket boosters. Nice. Very cool. Stuff from nutrition. Just head out here. Everyone's going to need a train. Come on uh, all up here. Nice. Very good. Yeah, probably go this is only twenty five more, we'll probably go this one next. Excavation's nice. Sure, go ahead. We have a lot of population, holy cow. Time going just a little bit more. Almost absolute complete control. Self propelled is nice. A lot of time, but do I care? Nope. What is this? The missing star path unit. Very cool. Nope. Six research slots. So many research slots. I love it. Because these guys are 23 combo with right now. The rocket artillery would be nice. Even more soft attack. That could be deadly. We have this, but I kind of want to have instead of this now um, logistics. A promotion of. Dedra Miro. Following investigation of rebel activity on Ferex, Imperial Security Bureau Officer Dedra Miro has been promoted and given greater duties as an ISB officer. One of the Empire's finest. Keep working on Project Siege Breaker 2. Declaration of Rebellion. Oh, fine. Oh, God. A representative for the group that calls themselves the Alliance to restore the Republic and delivered a monument or document seeing their intent to rebel and resist against us. The representative was arrested and interrogated. Uh, <clears throat> but provided no useful information that about those uh, leading this so-called alliance, however, it's likely that the traitor Simon Motha is involved. Fine, have it their way. Uh, perfect soldiers. Oh boy. Well. Just in case I'll put 
you guys there. The hut council should be fine. The Alliance to restore the Republic is here. A rebel cell, huh? Well, we'll take them out one by one if we have to. A feeling this might break out into all out war, but I could be wrong. Yeah, I definitely want logistics on these guys. Fat logistic companies. If I remember, which I won't, um, get the next. Oh, we don't lose everything here. God dang it, where was I? Bada, right here. Navigating, navigating. Roger. Nice. Coffee's always good, too. And I still love how fast his mod moves. Beautiful. Perfect soldiers. Inferno Squad. Dark Troopers, ooh. We could advance computer machines, nice. Get some more radar, it's fine. Seeker missiles, nice. Go do that. More tanks? Ah, screw it, you're all gonna become armored. So, they're there. Do we have any planets where we also share with the rebels, maybe? Oh, that, oh, there's a little, little base there. Little base. Spectre cell, huh? Why we fight? Whatever, who cares about those people? Not really. Let's see where else? No? Let's get you guys. Fine. I think, there you go. Engineers. Oh, Inferno Squad. Nice. Oh, it's just like a normal division. Sweet. And we can do more stuff here, but we need the political power to keep doing everything else we want to. So, Solist Overlords, Overseers, we can do that too. Get a second year, and. What's this right here? View are finding. Recon. The Orbital Artillery enables the production of Onager Destroyers. Super heavy composite beam turbo lasers are ship modules, so go in the slot that heavy batteries normally occupy, which I never use, anyways, but whatever. Give me your junk. Oh, snackies. Can't even go there. They're not even allied with us, are they? Coda's militia, Coda's militias. Um, here. Go. Advanced already upgrades. Arbitral artillery, nice. That's fine. And. Vader Star Dreadnoughts. Legion's class.
logistics, good. Going through more divisions because they're going to get really thick. Get a support rocket. Do we even have support rockets? Oh, we need more millies. Oh my god, we really need more millies. I guess development, not a manifesto. Oh god, that's gonna take forever to do. Jesus. Save my soul. Oh, we'll start doing this stuff too. We should've done this earlier, but whatever. Recruiting anti air, whatever. Resources. We need more oil. Always want more oil. So, oil, 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 and not a manifesto. Hundred percent beautiful. And we'll finish our naval auction. Good. Now the officer corps, global presence. I just want to get all this stuff done fast. And over here, we're gonna grab what. The elementary police will protect our manpower a little bit because we don't have a ton of manpower. We have a decent amount, but not a ton. Um, up next, we're going to get changes next to so. And we'll have four more days, which is, for a mod like this, not too shabby. And a good. Uh, oh, what is this? Oh, good. We established communications with the Galactic Empire, resulting in reinforcements. Nice. Well, they haven't lost anything yet. Oh, but they are fighting there. There are little blips and flops there. Here and there. Urge a message from Camino. An emergency transmission has been passed along to us from the Admiralty on Coruscant. <clears throat> our field commanders of Camino reported in great detail. A massive attack undertaken by the treacherous rebel general Ram Kota. Ah, it is him. His forces managed to incur a total communications blackout on our garrison, which we have only recently recovered from. Regardless, Kota has failed to capture the world and now almost ready to test for to relieve the planet. Darn that old man. Yes. See, we need more rocket artillery. Oh, okay, not a manifesto. And disband the Senate. Oh, wow, you actually made it super successfully. Nice. Rom Coda. God. Oh, the rebel lines. Coda's militia is going to die. You guys are over there. You guys are ready over here. And we'll take out, uh, I don't know how strong these guys are. I don't think they're going to be that strong. But. You never know. There you go. Good enough for that. And there you go. A little bit of time will be good. Salt tanks, nice. Probably get some better repeaters. Maybe a little bit better military police too. Hello. Oh. Gonna bomb us. Oh, it actually took us out. Look at that. Well, back to the drawing board. It's been the Senate. Dissolution of the Senate. Earlier today, Emperor Palpatine announced his intention to resolve the Imperial Senate, setting increasing rebel uh, resistance activity across multiple sectors as a primary factor in his decision to do so. As sort of his decision, probably transferred directly to the Emperor himself, will be delegated to the military governors underneath him. 
While such a move has been anticipated by senators and political experts alike, some senators have made their disapproval of the move known urging the emperor to reconsider. Final remnants of the republic are no more, and you may fire when ready. Now we're gonna have a lot of things that need to be repaired. And we'll go with medium. Oh well, improved rocket launchers. Improved medium cannons. More reliability. Skirt, slip armor. Auto loaders? Sure. Small thing. Nice. Need even more speed. But we don't have that. God dang it. There you go. There we go. Now we've got fuel. Just in case. Uh, we're going to need a little bit more ar army XP soon. Logistics. Signals. Uh oh. Nice. And what's next? Destruction of Alderaan. Today, the galaxy stood starstruck at the destruction of Alderaan at the hands of Imperial forces. The core world was notoriously labeled a safe world by the rebel cells. A senator of Bail Organa was famously in cahoots with a figure such as Mon Matha, Jean Dodana, and the infamous Admiral Radis. The finer details are not yet fully known, but it can be sure to say that Grand Moff Tarkin was at the head of this operation, as he was allegedly stationed near the point of fire by the superweapon. An excellent demonstration indeed. Authorized Operation Swarm. I mean, that's nice. Well, let's say this time. Um, I wish I could. Uh, you know what? Let's instead of that, let's throw one. That already. Slightly more punch. Give him a few days to get the already in there. And then go. Okay. And then revive Project Stardust. Enter base. As long as you get in there, well, at least one of these tiles, you should be fine. There you go. Roger. For now. That definitely helped out. One at a time. Go out. Go out. Start building up other worlds too. Galactic Empire, the two. There you go. And better infantry equipment, nice. So it takes a little bit of time, unfortunately. Rishi Moon. There. And then, attach super laser. So the trap. 
Operation Swarm. Discovers location of the current rebel base and probe droids. Interesting. I like it. Anything else we want here, Reese? Honestly, we could just use more. Resistance growth speed would be good. Image attack decryption, special forces, that's pretty good too. Construction speed's alright, we don't really need it. Damage garrisons would be nice too. Political power. Uh, daily Imperial support. Diplomacy. 5%, 5%, 5% ain't very much. Honestly, we'll just go with you. Do it, doesn't matter to me. 70 days in total, wow. Ten divisions. God dang it, come on. One, two, three, four, five. Go there. You guys go there. Easy. Don't know why the game made it so hard to do that. And then we'll do Shield Generator Project. I'm really tired of this. Constantly doing that again and again and again and again and again. Oof. We need to raise the construction level more. And Project Second Sun. Recover Division recovery rate. Ship recovery rate. Wow. We can blow up planets. Can we actually blow up planets? Be really cool. Let's try it. Force it. Nope, we're going to be losing a bit. Oh, wow, we lost quite a bit here. All right, so I'll go back, go back to the drawing board to see if we can actually do that. Extra marine supply, shore bombardment, bombardment, bombardment. So we got to do that. We'll do second sun, and we're going to go from there. And here we're at, everybody. We finally took out the the coda thing. God, I hated hated doing that. That that was, that was just god awful. But we finally made it and moved all the way up here to take out the rebel alliance, which actually in December of 1003. Uh, we eventually lose because uh, we have to peace out because we've made no serious progress against them. Which next time I do this type of campaign, we definitely got to use a lot of marines. But once you land, you're okay. But trying to land is very, very difficult. You definitely need marines to uh, do okay here. here but once you're on the planet, though, it's all good. Excuse me, I am the emperor. We take, we take all of this. I'll take their ships. They don't. They don't very much. Cool. So there's that. Um, you guys suffered through quite a bit. I'm gonna have you guys just kind of like come over here or something. Um, other than that, well, we have no national folks right now. We don't pretty much all that we can. We can't end the ox. Radical rebel, Anto Krieger. So I've got to find their base of operations, though. So that's going to take some time. But, let's see. Uh, doctrines, I guess. Air Doctrine. Oh, we really could use this one, Land Doctrine, really. Got plenty enough manpower for now. But we can read about the Death Star in the meantime. I guess we do some cryptology as well. Uh, there we go, Black Sun. Doesn't really matter. There you go. Could blow up Coruscant, but why would we do that? But, at last, the work of Galen Erso has been completed. The Death Star, the most powerful weapon the galaxy has ever seen, and likely will ever see. Such weaponry poises us to be an unstoppable and feared force, which will surely bring sense to those foolish rebels. Even if the set of the station is not enough, then a demonstration can certainly be arranged. Though, such a demonstration would not be easy to cover up, especially when planets that are more prevalent or have higher population. It certainly can be done, but at a very high cost, politically. Ord Montel. Oh, we need, oh, okay. Well, let's take a look see. You need ships. Whatever. Oh, I can only command four. Well, then, check them all right there. Grand Admiral Thrawn, good job with Grand Admiral.
Got lots of research we could do. And at this point, I'm not sure how much else there really is for this campaign. So, here we go. Ships are almost there. Oh, it costs 600. Oh my gosh. We gotta save our stuff then. I'm not sure there's really anything else, like I said. Death Star, ship, division recovery rate. I'm gonna go to war with more people. We didn't even use the tanks here, which kind of sucks, but whatever. There we go. Uh, there we go. There you guys, extra thick. Photon laser banks. Fine. Whatever. Um, in the meantime, I guess we'll just kind of hang out here and then do all that, because there really wasn't much else we could do. Uh, we could never do this one, which kind of sucks. We could lower this, but I want to blow up a planet first. Just, just to, oh, oh, so we definitely need more political power. So I should have got more political power people than where we were currently at. But let's at least blow up a planet. Cause that sounds like a lot of fun. But it's gonna take us a couple days to get there. So we'll do this one and, while we wait. All right, everyone. So we have 15 days left as we're continuing to just build up a whole bunch of things and get a lot of the, the naval doctrine or just naval stuff done in general. Um, in the meantime, we're gonna blow up a planet, or at least see where the rebel base is. Let's blow it up. Oh, Nuki, Nuki. Well, they're dead. So literally just nothing. Leader of nothing. Still have good relations with them. They're just a pile of rocks. Look at that. Local governance. Nice. Couple people. One, two divisions left. That's kind of cool. I like that it just completely gets nuked. That's cool. Go and repair. Um, but let's see if there's anything else. I kind of doubt it. At this point, we've pretty much done everything that we can. I suppose the Rebel Alliance is completely dead because nothing else happened. Interview Priox, Mortana, or Morlana officers. Um, we could blow up more planets, maybe. But I think that's it for now. I don't think there's anything else. Of course, of course the Rebel Alliance is supposed to get bigger and larger, but I think that's all we can really do in this campaign. So if you enjoyed it, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. We use nukes in Star Wars. And I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.